runners start uh, taking their mark next Wednesday over the Blue Oval. Drake Relay is getting started to uh, getting ready to run. WHO 13's Kaylin Thompson joins us live after speaking with one of the organizers of what will be a week long celebration. It's actually kind of already started things getting started early over at Drake Kaylin. Yes, definitely. People are excited, especially since the Drake Relays were so missed last year. So organizers are working hard to bring back the events, but in a safe way. 2020 was a heartbreaking year for so many reasons. And to see high school seniors particularly that missed that opportunity. So to be able to restore that for, for Iowa high schoolers and, and the college athletes truly is, uh, it, it is really significant and exciting. Um, and really happy to be able to host any spectators at all and, and continue that family tradition of, uh, you know, people come, being able to come out and watch the Drake Relays. So at the Blue Oval this year, expect some changes. Capacity will be at 20%. There will be a mask mandate and spectators will be socially distanced sitting in pods. I'm told the biggest change is that high school events will be held separately in a one day format on Thursday. Friday and Saturday will include the college and university events. When it comes to ticket sales, here's what you need to know. The challenge that we'll face with the Drake Relays is that we have thousands of loyal supporters that have had tickets for decades. Um, and that's how we've been able to sell out 15,000 seats for more than 52 years in a row. So. We're first accommodating those people as best as possible, and then we hope to have some limited availability on sale uh, to the general public, but we're first also accommodating those who've owned, uh, had tickets in 2019 and before. So here's a breakdown of that. Tickets go on sale for the 2019 ticket holders today. 2020 ticket holders were given notice last week, and organizers hope to know by the end of this week what the remaining capacity will be like for the general public. And for those who aren't able to get inside the stadium, organizers say to stay tuned as there will be some announcements about viewing options to come, Andy. All right, yeah, this is going to be a different uh, Drake Relays, but we know that it's going to be better than last year when there was no Drake Relays. So we've got that going for us. Thank you, Kaylin.